So this video is about the adjustable sextant errors and how we can adjust them. I have made a separate video on non-adjustable sextant errors and uh, I will be providing you a link of that video with this video as well. All right. So this video focuses on the adjustable errors of the sextant. So although um, error sextant, uh, when you use it sextant for obtaining the altitude or the horizontal section angle or the vertical section angle uh, you try your best to not have any errors in the sextant but although you may try your best you will still have some errors in the sextant they are classified as adjustable errors which must be checked and eliminated by the observer and the other errors are called non-adjustable errors which are errors caused by manufacturing or defects or damage to the equipment and i will talk about that in a separate video so let's talk about adjustable errors the first there are about four adjustable errors the first one is perpendicular error or it's also called error of perpendicularity in many books the second error is side error the third one is called parallelism error in some books it's also called index error but uh, i will ask you guys not to call the third error index error because index error mainly refers to the residual error uh, which you get after correcting all the errors there is certain error which is left in the system that's called index error so I will advise you or I'll recommend you guys not to use index error or the phrase index error for the third error but the reason I put it here is because many books they call index error as one of the adjustable errors and the fourth error is error of collimation or collimation error which is caused due to the telescope of the sextant so let me take you through each of these errors one by one so the first error is like I said called error of perpendicularity uh, this error is produced by the index class not being perpendicular to the plane of the instrument All right. to check for this error clamp the index bar at about the middle of the arc and holding the sextant horizontally with the arc away from you look obliquely into the index mirror till the arc of the sextant and its reflection in the index mirror are seen simultaneously if they appear in alignment the error is not present however if they do not then there is an error of perpendicular as you see in the figure here. To correct for the error of perpendicularity, you have to use a screw called the first adjustment screw, which is located at the back of the index glass. And you have to turn it slowly using the spanner provided to you. So there's a spanner provided to you in the sextant box itself. Use that spanner and turn the index, uh, the screw at the back of the index mirror, which is called the first adjustment screw, very slowly while looking at the index mirror and its reflection of the arc just as soon as the arc and its reflection in the mirror align then the error will be corrected so that's the location of the first adjustment screw and although the, 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 my animation shows a screwdriver it's supposed to be a spanner and uh, remember you have to do it very slowly uh, and do it while looking at the index mirror obliquely so that you can see the arc and its reflection in the index mirror as I showed you in the previous slide and as soon as the arc and its reflection align you have to stop adjusting it so that means then the index mirror becomes perpendicular to the plane of the sextant now if you are not very really sure on where what the first adjustment screw is what is index mirror in the parts of the sextant please watch my video on parts of the sextant and you will get a good idea of what are the different parts of the sextant and what are they called. All right, I don't want to uh, take up too much time explaining the parts of the sextant in this video, otherwise it gets very long. So the next error, the second adjustable error is called the side error. And the side error is caused by the horizon glass not being perpendicular to the plane of the sextant frame. All right, so you can see here, this is the horizon glass. And if it is not perpendicular to the sextant frame or the plane of the sextant, 
then there is a side error to check for side error well by day or by night you can check both so if you have to check it by night you have to use the star first so clamp the index bar at 0 degrees and 0 minutes hold the sextant vertically as you see in the figure observe a star through the telescope if the star and its reflection are not displaced horizontally as you see here the side error is absent however if they are displaced horizontally then the error exists so i'll show you what i mean here so basically you observe a second magnitude star which will look sharper than a first magnitude star a first magnitude star is definitely brighter but it's not sharper by sharper i mean the edges of the star If you have a perfectly aligned sextant, you should see only one star when your, sext when your sextant is aligned at 0 degrees and 0 minutes. Alright, if it's not, so this is what you see. So basically the star and its reflected image is overlapping as one star. So you can make out that it's one star with its reflected image overlapping the original star. Even if you rotate the micrometer clockwise and anti-clockwise, you will see the reflected star then moving sideways from the true star but if this happens only when you are rotating the micrometer drum that means there is no side error this basically shows that the image was initially overlapping but as you move the micrometer the star's reflected image started to move however if there is side error side error you will see the star and its reflected image side by side as you see here on the screen if this occurs, this means there is a side error. Rotating the micrometer will also confirm this. It goes up and down like that in a sideways motion. Alright, sometimes it may appear as if there is no side error, but by rotating the micrometer drum, side error may be revealed. Alright, you can also check for this side this method is not recommended very popularly but people use it uh, when they use the horizon to check for side error so basically you can you do the same thing as you did with the star you hold the sextant vertically at 0 degrees and 0 minutes ideally you should see one image of the horizon so the horizon and its reflected image to the through the uh, mirror you should see as one image as you see here but if there is a side see that the image will be up and down as I will show you very soon. So if there is no side error you will see one image even if you rotate the sextant sideways, tilt the sextant sideways the image doesn't break. Alright it's still one single line the horizon. Alright. However if there is a side error the image will be distorted like this here. So it will not be one single line. It will be slightly distorted. The image will split. So you can see the image has split. Now to correct for the side error, we use the second adjustment screw, which is uh, adjusted similarly to the first adjustment screw. Now this second adjustment screw is located as the top screw at the back of the horizon glass. Similar to the first adjustment screw, you do this while observing the side error. Do it slowly and as soon as the side error stops existing, you stop rotating the screw. Alright, so you use the spanner and you turn the screw slowly while looking at the side error. For example, if you are looking, using the horizon, as soon as the horizon and its reflected image which has got split now, starts to align you stop adjusting it so you have to do it very slowly and you have to have some patience here all right similarly for the star as well now the third error is called the error of parallelism and in many books it's also called the index error although i don't recommend calling it index error this error of parallelism occurs when the index glass 
in the horizon glass are not parallel to each other and the index bar is set at 0 degrees 0 minutes just like you see here in this case it's parallel however sometimes it may not be parallel in that case you will see that an error of parallelism exists all right so the error of parallelism can also be found out just like you found the side error clamp the index bar at zero degrees hold the sextant vertically and view a star through the telescope if the star and its reflections are not displaced vertically this time index error is not present if they are displaced vertically then of course you know that there is a error of parallelism that occurs all right so see the difference between uh, the index error and the second error that one was side error so it was displaced horizontally or sideways here it will be displaced vertically all right so adjust your sextant to zero degree zero minutes again observe a second magnitude star which will be sharper if you have a perfectly aligned sextant, you should see only one star, otherwise you will see something like this. Alright. You can also use it, uh, use the sun to find the error of parallelism or I'll call it index error. So with the index bar, index bar clamped at 0 degree 0 minutes and using the necessary shades, you can view the sun through the telescope holding the sextant. Turn the micrometer on the arc till the upper limb of the reflected sun touches the lower limb of the true sun. Note the reading on the arc. Then turn the micrometer off the arc till the lower limb of the reflected sun touches the upper limb of the true sun. Note the reading of the arc. If the two readings are the same, index error is not present. If not, the amount of index error is half the difference between the two readings and named on the arc or off the arc respectively according to whether the on the arc reading or off the arc reading was larger. I will explain this method in a separate video and I will provide you with a link as well. Alright, so don't worry about finding out the index error using the sun at this moment. At this moment, uh, just remember the, the, the method that I have shown you using the star. So to check for the error of parallelism, we use a third adjustment screw. Alright, now the third adjustment screw is located horizon mirror and again you adjust it similar uh, to the one sorry horizon the, the second uh, the you adjust it similar to the one how you adjusted the first and the second so while looking at the star you turn the third adjustment screw very slowly to make sure that as soon the error of parallelism stops existing you stop Alright, this third adjustment screw is located right below the second adjustment screw and towards the side at the back of the horizon glass. Alright, the horizon glass and mirror are part of the same structure. There is one uh, second adjustment screw and the third adjustment screw is located below the second adjustment screw. So again, like I showed you here or told you here before, while looking at the star, start adjusting it, do it slowly and as soon as the vertically displaced image aligns with the original star, you stop there. You can also use the horizon for checking the error of parallelism. In this case, remember not to see through the telescope, just see outside the telescope. So basically what you do is, you do not engage the index mirror. So you see this through the horizon glass and horizon mirror. You do not engage the index mirror. So basically when you use a telescope, the index mirror also comes into play. But when you are checking for the error of parallelism using the horizon, don't look through the telescope. Look through the horizon mirror and the horizon glass as you are seeing in the picture here and use the same thing that you did before. Basically look out whether the horizon gets distorted if you are tilting it or not. It's very similar to the side error. You set the sextant at 0 degrees and 0 minutes. Hold the sextant vertically. This time don't look through the telescope. Look through the horizon mirror and horizon glass. 
if you see a single line that's very good that means there is no error of parallelism till the sextant rotate till the sextant sideways if on tilting the image is still holding that's very good if not and if it is getting split either vertically or after tilting then that means there is a error of parallelism again you adjust it similar to what you did before use a third adjustment screw and rotate it slowly while looking at the horizon to make sure you stop then the error does not exist anymore all right so we have done three errors now the thing before i go into the fourth error there is something that you have to remember that while you are adjusting and correcting the side and error of parallelism you have to go a bit backwards and forwards so first thing you did was you corrected the uh, error of perpendicularity that's fine but the next thing you corrected was side error when you correct for side error and then move on to error of parallelism it's a possibility that the side error may occur again because you are basically adjusting its perpendicularity of the horizon mirror on the horizon glass with the index mirror sometimes with the horizon mirror on the horizon glass as well so because of those adjustments sometimes while you are correcting for error of parallelism the side error may creep back again so to a way out of this is you basically correct for error of parallelism and go back and check again if the side error has occurred if it has then correct for the side error come back and then again check for error of parallelism you may have to do this a couple of times to make sure by going backwards and forwards that both the errors get corrected and correcting one error doesn't result in the correction of the next error or other resulting doesn't result in the creation of the error again so correct for side error move on to error of parallelism come back to side error again correct that one check again for error of parallelism do do this a couple of times to make sure that the errors have been fully corrected and adjusting one has not created the other finally the last error is error of collimation now this error of collimation occurs due to the telescope so if the axis of the telescope is not parallel to the plane of the sextant then this error occurs however whole sextants were provided with an adjustable telescope collar so that this error if present could be removed by adjusting the collimating screws on the telescope collar in present day sextants the telescope is attached to the body of the sextant in such a manner that it cannot tilt these sextants are therefore not provided with any collimating screws and hence this error does not occur in modern day sextants so these are the four errors the fourth one doesn't exist in modern day sextants so i have not discussed it much uh, it's not relevant for you but the other three errors of course will occur and before you use the sextant to obtain any altitude you have to make sure that you find out these errors determine these errors and correct for these errors and check it a couple of times before using the sextant i hope this video was beneficial to you if you have any questions feel free to write me in the comments thanks and i'll see you guys soon with my next video